Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Leslie here. Um, I tried to do a reaction to Queen's side of the story and I found myself not not interested in what she had to say but I feel like everything is redundant at this point and like I lost my mojo to even talk about it anymore because I feel like I addressed it enough and I feel like at this point it would just be me defending my emotions here i am feeling that exact way like i have to do and maybe i should uh, address this a long time ago probably right after i did that reaction video because i know i knew people were gonna misconstrue my emotions and misinterpret my me crying the truth is guys i did respond to that book and it wasn't for clarence nor was it about him it was about me because the book was talking about me and it was tarnishing my name yes i loved clarence and that's known like i've never hit that but that chapter in my life is closed like it's been three years now and i've grown to be the woman that i am today because of that like yes i am over that situation it's not all about clarence it's not all about do I want him or I want him back or anything like that. It, the truth is I had to relive that moment just for 30, 30 minutes. And yeah, I got emotional and, and I was crying. But my tears aren't for Clarence. They aren't about you. They're about my true feelings of my story. Like they, I wasn't sugarcoating it or anything like that. That's just how I expressed it. And it's in human nature for me to respond the way I want to respond. Because I am who I am. And... I won't change for nobody and the truth is I don't owe anybody an explanation I don't owe anybody my story and I don't have to share that with nobody I didn't even think that I didn't think that it would go this far but it like took me on this course like I didn't know that it will get like this I swear I didn't even think that I was finna be on YouTube crying and everybody sees me weak and emotional. I didn't think any of that. And I didn't think twice about it to post or anything like that because it is the truth. It is what I felt at that moment. A lot of people are judging me and saying leave them alone. They have a whole family now and whatever the case may be. But I left them alone three years ago. My fault for taking him off the hook. And, you know, putting my focus on elsewhere. But it is true. At the end of the day, if someone is for you, they will be for you. And no one can take that away. No one can no one can take that person away from you. And I'd be damned if I go ahead and blame a person's actions on others. Because ultimately, it's the person you're with who you're supposed to respect and represent. You know, as your woman. If the love is generally true and I know that I got very emotional in my last video and I probably said things that I shouldn't have said and I should have just kept them to myself and for that I sincerely apologize some things just doesn't have to be said out to the public please try to understand that I put myself in that moment again I I relived that moment again and I didn't appreciate how Clarence was talking about me, as if I didn't invest five years in him, as if we didn't have good times together, and made it made it made it out to seem that our relationship was total toxic when that wasn't the case, and that was that's what the anger came from. The anger came from that. The anger came from uh, my business being out there to the world. Like, that's still weighing on me. Like, I didn't appreciate that at all. And like I said, I didn't know that all of this, a book was going to do this. <laughs> like, I didn't think a book was going to do this to me. I didn't think that I would respond the way that I responded. I was just acting off my true feelings and my true emotions. And I said what I said. Some things I shouldn't have said. But that's how I felt at that time. And if you guys don't understand it, and if you still don't get it, it is what it is. I don't have to prove to you guys that I don't want him and I'm over him. I don't have to do none of that neither. You guys could think whatever you want. Like, 
him and I know our story and I'm pretty sure he knows that I've moved on and I've never tried to get my relationship back with him like I've never tried to do any of that um I will say this I knew that our relationship was pretty much done when all the videos were coming out like I'm not stupid I'm not gonna hold on to oh my god they, they're making videos um um, I still have a chance and I'm watching them and there's still a chance that I'm gonna be there whatever that that wasn't the case like I already knew my relationship with Clarence was done that that was gonna take its course too I knew where that was headed In any case we we were still I don't I don't want to say we were cool but we just we just kept our communication I remember when he was trying to help me out with doing YouTube and he was giving me advice and stuff like that um, and that was around the time that they were together. I want to say this was July. January, March, April, May, June, July. This, yeah, July. It was in July that he was trying to help me out with my YouTube. Right after, that's when I found out the news that she was having a baby. So it's only, like, it's a human nature for me to respond the way I responded because that is how I felt at that moment. Right now, I don't feel that way, guys. I don't, I'm not pissed off that they're together and they have a family and they're happy now. That is not me. I'm actually happy for him. I'm over that. That chapter is closed in my life and I've moved on, you guys. I've took this relationship as learning experiences for me. That's another reason why I, I probably got very emotional because not only did I have to relive that moment, but I hold that experience with my ex um, very serious because and within those five years of my relationship, I learned so many things. I've learned so many lessons. Like life has definitely taught me so many things. And for that, I've, I will forever cherish it. When someone shows me the slightest sign of what I went through with Clarence, or anything that he did to me, I cut that person off real quick. I'm able to move on and not look back. Like I always think to myself, if I got over him, there's no way that I can't get over you. And that's the truth, guys. That's how I move now. So for people to say, um, you still on him, you still want him, you're not over him, yada, 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 just because I got emotional, you guys are misinterpreting my feelings and my emotions in that video. But I'm not going to explain myself anymore. And I hope that I hope that this is the end of it all because I don't want to talk about that story no more. People want to believe what they want to believe and they want to judge me and whatever the case may be to each his own. You guys didn't live my story. You guys don't know what it feels like and that's the bottom line. Thank you for your messages, for encouraging me, and for your prayers, because I've read those messages. I've even screenshotted some of them and saved them to my phone so I can look at them whenever I'm feeling down, you know? Because everybody gets those moments. Like today is one gloomy ass day, and it's a time of the month, so I am in my bag. Not in, a, in my bag like I'm in my feelings and I'm hurt and yada yada, like it's not that. Like I'm just, you know, reading the comments and the messages. I'm just like, yo, people are, they just don't get it and they're never gonna get it but it's just it's just absurd to me how people misinterpret things and maybe it's because how I came off and stuff but whatever it is what it is I don't want to talk about my past the shit is done I it's been three years later and yes it's made me who I am today and it sucks that I have to relive that moment again and it sucks that I have to talk about it again I like put that that relationship in a deep 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 hole in the ground and I didn't think that it will resurface and I didn't think that I would have to ever talk about it again you live and you learn and that's in my Instagram bio by the way because it's true you live and you learn you don't I'm not gonna hold on to things for the rest of my life like, I still love him I still want to be him I still have a chance guys I'm older now like I am not young I'm older I'm wise like I'm not stupid I'm not hung, hung up on somebody that has a family. I am not. You guys don't want to understand me because you guys are stuck on today and I get it. But 
when people try to diminish me and, and discredit my story, I am going to respond the way I respond and there's no sugar coating it. With that being said, I just want to thank all of my supporters for your messages. I really appreciate that. I, I read the positive messages. The negative stuff, I try to stay away from it. Be ready for my next videos, you know? Get to know me some more and get to know the woman that I am today, three years later, okay? Um, just drop down some questions below and also comment what other content you like to see from me. I know I'm definitely going to share some story times and I know I'm definitely going to put like some workouts in there. It's like I have a passion for fitness. That is one of the major things in my life that has helped me overcome a lot of things. Talking back to me. And I was like, yo, um, what you said, I, I was just basically telling him about what he said in the video. Like, that was that was funny. Like, Frank Red, Frank's Red Hot. Oh, I'm not sweet. He, you know, like, just kind of, I don't know, picking at him about what he said. Obviously, at this point, if he's doing a smash pass on a bunch of girls, I did. Um, I I just refused to do another video on it, but my point exactly. Just you could tell how I was moving and what I was doing, that you could tell that I was single. I don't want to throw other people's relationship. I don't know if I'm smash queen. I don't know. If <laughs> did you say you were gonna smash? I don't know if I would put it out yet. It was smash your pass coming soon. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and turn on your notifications. See you guys.